I of North Beach, second annual Kids event. There are so many people to thank, to thank for making this day very special. We want to thank the mayor of North Beach, Mark Fager, for the opportunity to host our event at the North Beach Town Hall. Without this beautiful venue, we would not have been able to host an event of this size, where everyone could come together under one roof to celebrate peace. Also, we would like to thank our speaker, Julio de Carvalho, and all the performers, for without them, this event would not have been possible. Our gratitude goes to Edisei of America, a publisher of the International Spiritist Council, for the donation of the Spiritist Gospel. Copies may be kicked up at the registration table. The beautiful floral arrangements have been graciously provided by Dunkirk Florist and Gift Shop, located in Dunkirk, Maryland. Videography is to the wonderful talents of Daniel Santos. Before we start our program, we ask that you kindly turn off your cell phones and refrain from speaking during the performances. We ask that no food or drink be consumed in the auditorium. Restrooms are located on the first and second floors for your convenience. The exits are located in the front and rear of the room. We will not have a formal break today, so we ask you that if you must take a break, that you do so in between the performances. And if you can, please use the outside aisles in lieu of the center aisle as we are videotaping the event. The opening prayer will be focusing on peace and finding peace within ourselves, and to pray for peace on earth and in the universe. We invite Nens Morchek, Vice President of the Spiritual Society of North Beach, to do our opening prayer. Good afternoon. So the prayer I'm going to read today is written by Joanna de Andrews and entitled Peace in You. So first, together I ask that we all calm our minds, forget about the worries that we may have, and lift our thoughts to a positive energy level, and listen to her wise words. So peace in you. Peace is very important. Governments impose it by fomenting wars, exerting pressure, and subjecting people to bondage. Therefore, peace is negotiated in private offices and is maintained under arms through fear. Such peace comes from the outside and is disturbing because it is unreal. It is legal, though not always moral. It is similar to swamp water, clear and placid on the surface, but murky and poisonous at the bottom. Such is the peace of the world leading and receptive. Real peace comes from within a cheerful heart and an understanding mind which acts and trusts. It is achieved within an atmosphere of love and devotion because the harmony which kindles the dynamic of flourishing life derives from a conscious illuminated by divine laws. Such peace is permanent and is never disturbed. It constrains not, imposes not. Each person must strive to achieve it. It is an outcome of one's well-directed actions, and it fosters noble ideas. To discuss peace or to crusade for it is not enough. But if you focus your mind on peace, think about peace, and act specifically, you will externalize peace from your inner self and then it will surround you and, and reach whoever can hear you. So may peace on earth be your uttermost goal, and through constant prayer, may it work outwards as an answer from God. When you pray for peace, a tender feeling pervades you, and love, which radiates from God, averts any conflict that might disturb you. Peace within you will further peace.
sentiments differently to each other. We have several performers here with us today who will be singing, dancing, and playing musical instruments for your enjoyment. And it is my pleasure to introduce a lovely young lady, Adriana Collins, who will be singing Only Hope. Adriana attends Huntington High School. She's active in her local community and studies dance at Abigail Francisco School of Classical Ballet. Please join us as well. Thank you. 
Fernando, who is a control engineer student, 
but also strongly dedicated to music, accompanies her on, on the guitar. Please join me on the <coughs> They will be playing What a Wonderful World, Imagine and Pray.
thank you, Rice and Fernando, for guiding us closer to finding peace within through your lovely performance. Uh, we have a little change in the program now. Um, and uh, Ms. Abigail would like me to let you know that her dancer will not be performing on point due to the floor surface being not the most adequate for uh, that type of performing, uh, but they usually do. So next, we have Skylar Simpson from the Abigail Francisca School of Classical Ballet, Youth Ensemble Dancers. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the group, even though she's going to be the only one performing right now. <laughs> So the Youth Performance Ensemble is a group of dancers that perform around the Maryland, D.C. area and across the United States, dancing for charity and goodwill. The ensemble performs classical ballet pieces as well as original contemporary choreography and jazz Broadway's inspired numbers. So Skylar will be dancing Cupid from the ballet Don Quixote. i 
bright and stormy. Oh, just when I thought my heart was finally numb, a beautiful young man appears before me, singing, come, oh, won't you come? And what can I do if finally, for the first time, the one I'm burning for returns? that will perform the dance of the hours in Aurora from the Ballet Copilia. <laughs> <laughs> 